My name is David Briggs. Uh, I worked as in number nine colliery, which is just to the back of us. I've done all the electrical work. Uh, I lived in Georgetown all my life, so at the end of the shift, I would take a shortcut home, which I could come out of an entrance just a few hundred yards up the river by here now. That uh, entrance was used to pump water from number nine colliery, and it was used as a water course. A very interesting place. Uh, the colliery uh, closed, I think, about 1937. Uh, the mine that I worked in was a drift mine, which they sunk into the workings of Number 9 Colliery. And obviously, there was a lot of interest in artefacts left behind from the, the, the days of the Tredegal Iron and Coal Company. Very interesting artefacts. Uh, it'd be nice if we could get in there one day and have a wander around and just have a look to see what has survived. Uh, the, uh, the pumping engine was actually driven by steam from the colliery and on some of the old photographs you can still see the actual the beam of the pump. The shaft uh, was 160 metres deep and the pump rods went all the way down the shaft to a, a, a pump which was located on a landing uh, from the watercourse and then the water was discharged into the watercourse it ran down through the watercourse and into the river behind us, just to keep the workings dry. The colliery was also linked to uh, Tetris Colliery, also linked to the Forge Drift, and there was many ways out in the days of during the war. You know, d during the wars there was access to other collieries, in, just in case of bombing. But a very interesting area. Obviously, the the mines have all gone and there's not much left to be seen, but uh, what is left, it, you know, there is a lot of history still to be seen, you know, it, it's still there. It's in the background, overgrown, but if we could at least sort of uh, clear some of the brambles away, you'll probably see a lot of the old archways, old entrances to, to the various workings. The works were located uh, a few hundred yards from where we're standing, uh, just below the town. What's there now is a couple of uh, new units which were built for roughly about 15, 20 years ago. But uh, that's, that's where the work stood. And uh, obviously Tredega Iron and Coal Company made all sorts of things all over the world for all the mines. They constructed just about everything made of iron or steel and uh, quite a famous steelworks of its, in its day. You know. And about 100 yards from where we're standing now, there's probably one of the only existing artefacts in the town with Tredegal Iron and Coal Company. It's a drain and it's still got the Tredegal Iron and Coal Company stamp actually imprinted on it. The drain would have been cast in the works which would be a few hundred yards from where we stand in, just below the town. Uh, one interesting thing, my uh, grandfather was a, a master moulder in the works and he could possibly have uh, or pour the metal into it to make that drain. It's probably been there for about 80 or 90 years, roughly. Could be 100 years, but it's still existing today. It's something the scrap merchants haven't uh, noticed, and thank goodness for that. One area uh, of the workings as you walk in, actually from this entrance just up, up behind us, there's a section of roof which is as smooth as glass, and in the, in the roof are all sorts of fossils and uh, iron stone balls, which it broke open contain, you know, a lot of, uh, contain a lot of crystals. Uh, the fossils in the roof are fantastic, you know, cool trees. It's like looking at the forest uh, imprinted on the, on your ceiling. Uh, the other thing, uh, I've got to hear stories that just off the pit bottom of number nine colliery was a serpent in the roof. Uh, many occasions we did try to get to that area but because of foul air and gas, it was a, a, bit, a bit of a dodgy experience. But uh, I would have loved to have been able to take a photograph of that. Uh, it, it, it was quite well known, you know, many years ago, and probably there's not many people know of its existence. But it was uh, a well-known fact that there was a serpent in the roof just off the uh, pit bottom of number nine. Access to that could be got from the forge drift. Uh, but a few times I tried to get down there, 
it, there was too much foul air and gas, it wouldn't have been safe to uh, to go in there. But um, it, it would have still been a nice place. If if I could have got there, I would have uh, I would have definitely uh, took photographs of it.